Hello, everybody. This is Giancarlo here. Hope you're doing well on this Wednesday. I'll be getting started shortly. Want to let people funnel in if they had intentions on showing up. Uh, I'll give it another minute or two and then we can get started. Thanks for being patient with this. All right, let's get started. Derivatives trading carries a high degree of risk and may not be suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. So today I'll be going through uh, an intro of Edge ProX. Uh, for those that don't know what the platform is, uh, I'll be going through an intro of Edge Clear, who we are. And then for the uh, Edge ProX, I'll be going through support access, drawing tools, and then I'll be taking it off Edge Pro X and going onto YouTube and showing you uh, a search function on YouTube to help locate specific questions you may have about um, Edge Pro X. And then a Q&A at the end. <clears throat> so what is Edge Pro X? Edge Pro X is an all-in-one solution for active traders with MBO capabilities, volume profile, and TPOs, native order flow tools, fully functional with 300 plus indicators and studies. Uh, there's indicator layering, native to Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, runs on Rhythmic, CQG, or IQ feed. All these features are available for the low price of $34.99 a month. And that does not include data fees. Uh, what does Edge Products offer? Uh, heat map, volume imprint, volume profile, TPO and market profiles, uh, advanced DOM, simulated trading, replay mode, uh, cross tr instrument trading, cloud levels, Edge Pro line, OHLC lines, time and sales, and then as I said, 300 indicators. What is EdgeClear? EdgeClear is an independent futures brokerage. Uh, we're created by traders for traders. What that means is that I myself have traded in the past, so has the senior broker here. And as I'm sure you know, the founder also, more at her, Futures Trader 71, is also a trader. So all the tools we've developed are to help you and your trading and get you closer to where you want to be as a trader. Uh, we're award-winning team. We have multiple clearing relationships with Philip Capital, Iron Beam, and Dorman. Uh, we are an experienced team and founder, Futures Trader 71, continuously innovating and building. Uh, we're trader-inspired. So support access. So for those, so if I go over to the platform and show what I'm talking about here. So this is the platform. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, we have tabs at the bottom that you can tab through. Um, but if you've never used the platform before and this is like let's say your first time jumping into the platform for a demo and you're not really sure what's going on what you can do is you can head over to help and you can go into either tutorials which will take you to our uh, videos on the platform so if i go here you'll notice that this is going to pull take me to our website and you can see all the videos that we have on the platform so that is one very useful tool that I wanted to show. The other thing that you can go into here is our support center. Uh, if you click the support center, it will take you to EdgeClear support center and you have plenty of articles here that can help you kind of cut the learning curve on our platform. It is a robust platform. It can be overwhelming when you first get into it. And this is two tools out of the gate that can help you with learning how to use this platform to benefit your trading. Um, so then that was just a quick one that, that I wanted to show offhand. Um, and then going back to the slides, uh, the next thing I wanted to show was drawing tools. Um, it can be <laughs> kind of difficult to find when you first open it up. You were probably like, where is it? I don't see any tools here. You see maybe a line, uh, regression channels and pitchforks, but you know, this seems kind of small for what the normal platforms offer in terms of drawing tools. So if you head over to this, uh, it looks like a screwdriver and a wrench. If you click on it, 
brings out this components tab where then you can go in and drop down and see a lot more of these drawing tools that are available and typically available in norm other platforms. Uh, so you have the general commentary. So you drop those down, you can see those here. Um, going through them, you can have your markers. Uh, I'm not sure what you would use these for, but um, Fibonacci levels, Gon levels, and harmonics. Um, I'm personally a fan of Fibonacci. So when I found this, this was very useful to me. <clears throat> um, the other cool thing is if I have my Fib levels, if I just drag and drop, it has a magnet feature already, which will um, stick to either the wick of the candle or the base of the candle. So you don't have to worry about, you know, being exact. You can, it'll just click to that automatically. And then going in here, just kind of showing this, um, you can extend these out to the right by going to the general tab and then extending, uh, extend, I think this is how it'll work. Oops, I guess not there. So, oh, here we go, horizontal. Extend, yes, let's do this. Try it again. <clears throat> uh, there you go. So you would go to display and then you would extend it to the right. So you can actually see <laughs> where your levels are. This can be helpful and useful for you. I uh, just wanted to show you because a lot of people ask me about the drawing tools and how to access them. <clears throat> and feel free to um, put questions in the chat. If you have any, uh, I can answer them as I go. Uh, that's, you know, open, always open for chatting, but, or oh, answering those questions. Uh, but moving forward. <clears throat> so the search function in our YouTube, I did want to show this because I, um, I know that a lot of people were curious on how they can not only access these videos uh, because they are recorded, but also in, if I go to our YouTube, it's not the YouTube. If I go to our YouTube channel here, you'll see that we have all the, the videos that I've ever done here. And so it can be kind of overwhelming to go through and watch all of these videos and try to figure out which one has to do with a certain feature you're looking for. So if you if you have a specific question on, let's say, uh, the advanced DOM, you know, if some people they instead of having to go through all of these videos and figuring out oh my goodness which one is the the right video to watch you can just go into the search tab type in advanced dom oops search it and then it'll bring up every video where i discussed the advanced dom and you can basically go through here and click on any of these videos, knowing that they'll have in some way me or Morad or whomever hosted the video discussing the uh, advanced DOM. <clears throat> so that's just a feature that I wanted to show because this can be helpful for cut also cutting your learning curve and coming in here and if you wanna look up brackets. So typing in brackets will pull up and change and you can see bracket orders right off the gate up top here. And then you can see same thing here, strategies, bracket strategies. So anything, any in any of these videos, if there's a, a area where we put in the word bracket, it'll pick it up and recognize that. So this was just a feature that I wanted to show. Um, I, I personally didn't know this until today. So I figured I would share with the rest of you. <clears throat> so, that's what I had for the agenda today. And so I will be going through, people submit questions prior to this. There was only one person that submitted a question to it beforehand. So if there's any other questions in the audience, feel free to ask me now uh, and I can get to those and answer your questions live. Uh, it does not have to be specifically regarding Edge Pro X. It can be about Edge Clear as well. Um, but somebody asked, how can I bring up multiple charts onto another monitor? Uh, can I duplicate the pages at the bottom of the screen? So, I believe what they're asking when they say this is they want to be able to take and like multiple have multiple charts on like another monitor. So they're asking, can you duplicate these and bring them out into another monitor? No, you can't. You cannot bring these up and, and duplicate these into other monitors. You can, however, 
if I were, let's say, to want to duplicate this overview study, you can duplicate it. So you can copy page and then it'll take and, and copy it exactly the same onto another page at the bottom. But you're not able to pop the, those windows out and, and move them to another monitor. But the solution to that is if you if I take this and drag it down, if I wanted to have another so like let's say i'm i'm want this exact screen onto another monitor what i can do is i can actually click on uh oops right click on edge pro x at the bottom and click on it again and what this will do is this will open up another instance of edge pro x and then you can log in uh give me one second so then you can log in again and pull up another workspace and have that workspace be on the other screen. So you'd be able to have multiple instances of Edge products open where you can have, if you have four monitors, you can have different instances on each monitor and, and configure each workspace to be a for each monitor. That's something that I've had people do in the past, just keeping in mind that if you have, let's say, multiple windows with the heat map open, you may see some delays in one of those heat maps or in the platform itself because this is MBO data and it's very data data intensive. So it can be uh, a lot on the computer over the court, over the time. But um, that is what I would do, and hopefully that answers the person's question. But um, doesn't look like anybody asked any any questions. But just open it up again to the everybody else. If you have questions, feel free to ask ask them now. Um, <clears throat> I've went over everything that I needed to go over. So if, if there are any questions, we can talk about those now. <clears throat> Doesn't look like anybody has any other questions. So we can just, uh, go on to the next portion of this which is just me explaining where you can get more help showed a lot on how to find uh areas where you can locate help for um any reason but if you still cannot figure out the questions you know if it's a very complex question a very specific question on something um and it's not in our knowledge base you can email us or call uh at these these areas you can email us at edgeprox at edgeclear.com or you can give us a phone call at 773-832-8320. Um, we'd be glad to help you out with any questions you may have about Edge Pro X or Edge Clear as a futures brokerage as well. Um, but yeah, if you want to demo Edge Pro X, uh, head over to this uh, link here and give it a shot and see if you like it. And, and uh, while, while you're demoing it, if you have questions, you can reach out to me personally. Uh, I, I do have my information at the beginning of the uh, webinar. So I'll leave that up and uh, give it another two minutes for questions, and then uh, we can end this early. <clears throat> Awesome. Well, it doesn't look like anybody has any questions, so I will end this a little earlier than usual. Um, have a great rest of your Wednesday and good luck trading, everybody.